Do you guys see that? Do you guys see how full Dad fills his coffee? How don't you spill that? I'm a genius. Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Joel. I'm Gavin. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm Dab. I'm Lauren. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we want to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Because we can do a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't do is grow this channel without your help. Ooh, well it snowed last night. You may wonder why I'm not out there yet. Lauren didn't shovel the sidewalk. Not yet, but that's what we're going to do. Fortunately for us, we didn't get hit as hard as we thought we would. My dad said he was watching the news this morning and he saw in Northern Pennsylvania that there are places that had 40 inches. Wow, if we had 40 inches, we would have been in trouble. Can't wait to see all the comments. Where's your snowblower? Dad said I didn't have three kids to get a snowblower. Can you believe that? Lauren, what's it like moving from Florida to Pennsylvania and then shoveling all the snow? Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just crazy. So I just thought I should fill you guys in on what's going on today. Right now, Lauren and I are just shoveling out our sidewalks. Uh, the farm market's not supposed to open for like another hour and a half. However, I don't know if we're going to open this morning. Uh, it snowed quite a bit and the roads aren't cleared out too well. We're kind of thinking we don't want to give people an incentive to go out and drive. So we might go down and plow the driveway early this morning or we might wait a little bit. We're not sure yet. Lauren and I got this cleared out down through here. Now all we're waiting for is Matt and Tracy. They gotta go that way out to their apartment. So everything's looking good up here. Now I gotta go get in the equipment and move all the snow. I'm sure for a lot of you guys this is like nothing, but this is pretty substantial for us. It has snowed more between last night and today than it has in like the past two years here. Or is it like a year and a half? I don't know, it's just crazy. We used to get a lot of snow, but just haven't been getting as much snow as usual. Look, it's nice and deep. Ooh, exciting. Aunt Dabby parked her truck in the way. She had to do horses and she didn't want to drive down in. Dad's down here moving snow with the bucket loader. I'm just checking on all the animals before I go get in a skid steer. Everyone seems okay. Yeah, these guys, um, our cows are gone. I better just check and see where they are real quick. I don't think you can see them, but they're all right there. Look at this view. I'm so fortunate to live in such a beautiful place. Go get back in your heated tractor. You guys should have seen him trying to close the door by himself. That was funny. There's too much snow in the way. I'm just letting my skid steer heat up and then we're gonna get going. I'm so happy we have this skid steer and that bucket loader tractor. We got down around back completed. I think Daniel showed up and he's gonna start feeding calves. But now I'm heading up top to help dad clean out the store parking lot and then up and around the houses. Um, we wanna get the store parking lot cleared out pretty quick. We had said originally we weren't planning to open until this afternoon, but if we can get everything cleared out, we might as well open. Another update, everything down around back is finished. We're getting our parking lot done. The only problem is it's cold, so everything's a little on the icy side. So we're gonna have to spread down some salt uh, we're working. I went up and did by my Aunt Rhonda's house and now we're just trying to get this all cleared away. I have only seen one car yet this morning. So uh, I think everyone's kind of hanging out at home. having that 
big tractor to push all that heavy snow because I couldn't do it all with the skid steer. We're taking a little break from moving snow to eat some breakfast. Grammy, tell them what you're making today. I'm cooking up some butternut squash to freeze and to make butternut squash soup. Matthew over here making his breakfast. What are you making? Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese bagels for Tracy and I. Ooh, and then I'm making a hash. I got my potatoes shredded, got my onions cut up, I got my eggs and cheese, and I'm frying up my bacon right now. They're gonna make fun. We're gonna get some pepper on there, and then slip it to the salt. Uh, brown sugar bacon is where it's at. We got our potatoes cooking up real nice. Now we got some onions in here. Woohoo! going on over here look at her go peeling and scooping away scooped out all the seeds and now I'm gonna peel them okay so we're just about finished we got eggs in here we got eggs bacon potato garlic cheese sriracha onions a oh, whole and a good old time bacon egg and cheese bagels with avocado on them how much longer are you expecting to be here today <laughs> as long as it takes it's a snow day so there's nothing else to do Daniel had the 130 and he was getting the bulk of the snow moved around. I used the skid steer most of the morning. So everything's taken care of. We're actually gonna open up the farm market. We've been busy with plowing this morning and we have, I've seen like two cars, maybe three go down the road. Nobody's really out running around. We wanted to get all the stuff put out. So if someone in the local area needs something, they can come over and pick it up. I've no. seen more tractors than I have cars. That was fun, but that was enough for the year. Did you run into any snow? Yeah, we're right into lots of snow. So dad had a problem this morning. What's he complaining about now? Whoa, you can't say dad's complaining. He's the boss. What's the problem? Well, he was just out here plowing and he didn't see your little T6 out here running around. Oh, I was. I had to plow out for the horses. Do you know what dad said? What? He said that little baby tractor can't get through all this snow. You know, last night he said there was only two inches. Two inches of snow, that's all we got. And if he doesn't think that I can plow two inches of snow, I was just going through our order book. This is all the orders for pies, cakes, rolls, uh, cookies, and seeing what Lauren and I have to bake today. Lauren and I have 10 dozen chocolate chip order, and we have four dozen oatmeal raisin for the weekend. So what I'm gonna be working on today is getting that order filled. I have to bake the chocolate chip, bake the oatmeal, and then we got all the other orders baked last night. The cows really needed some sawdust. Some of the snow blew in. We just wanted to put a little extra bedding because it was on the colder side. It's pretty dry in here still, so we really don't need to put the bedding in, but we prefer for the cows to be really, really comfortable right now, just because it was snowing so much and it's all wet outside. this guy here I was over doing something and he stops and starts honking the horn because he wants someone to come and open up the door for him so he don't have to get out of the skid steer loader the only animals we need to bed up yet are the turkeys because as you can see from in here they got a lot of snow on the ground in here I don't know how it happened but uh, we're just gonna give them some nice fresh bedding there you go turkeys all the snow is plowed, everything's put away. That's a good morning right there. So I had every intention of recording me baking cookies today. We did oatmeal raisin and chocolate chip. And these are the cookies that Lauren and I did last night. So we had a lot of cookies that we had finished today. And like I said, I had planned to show you while I made these chocolate chip and these oatmeal raisin. The reason why I couldn't record cookies is because she was in here working. Tell them what you were making all afternoon. What did I make? Fruit cake. Oh, fruitcake, yes. I was making strawberry thumbprints and some kind of apricot jewel. I was making cookies. Grammy was making fruit cakes, and Dad was making cookies. So, yes, and hold on, what? Come on, calm down. And I make cookies this time too. So that's why we have such a big kitchen in the farm market. I was working over here. We had Grammy was working right here, and then Dad was working here and over in that corner. So. 
Megan, do you like making cookies? I do. Oh my goodness, she's a cookie master too. Well, the snow didn't melt, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, oh, look at this. Lauren, everybody wants to know, what's for dinner tonight? Mexican potato soup and biscuits. She didn't say world famous in front of that because that's what she's world famous for, her Mexican potato soup. This is the only problem. They're still down there waiting for the oven and they only have one more tray of cookies in there. And now I'm hungry, I'm sitting here, and now I'm waiting for dad, Grammy, and my mom. Alrighty guys, we're getting ready for dinner. So this is where we're gonna end the video today. I wanna thank everyone for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.